Hey, doing some qualifying for the uh, 87s Legends at Dover. Um, I was pretty much tied for the uh, fastest lap in practice. Just like some thousandths of a second off. I think I was number two. But uh, right up there. Um, I think during the race you might want to be easier on the tires overall. Let's see if we can get a good run out of four. I think I maybe cut down a little too soon. I think we're fine though. Doing a little uh, drag of the brakes to help keep it uh, near the bottom ish. Let me go over to that one a little bit though. Let's see. Ooh, we got some people that are plenty faster than us. One of the number one cars you can see, which I'm not thrilled about. <laughs> it's a. Uh, Seems like a pretty low strength of field overall, which scares me because if I get into a wreck then my I rating is going down the toilet, but uh, that doesn't matter all that much. I guess first lap is where you need to get it done because <laughs> second lap was not there. Um, and I'm pretty happy with that first lap, but we just got some guys that were faster. Um, yeah, just a couple tenths, hundredths, hundredths of a second off uh, from the top guys up here. So we're right there. Um, guy behind us is right there, and then it starts falling off a little bit, and then we got a nice big gap <laughs> from uh, starting around sixth. And even though I say big gap, I mean it's still only three tenths, so pretty competitive still. It's not it's not going to be a breeze or anything. I uh, I don't actually anticipate finishing first. I never do. <laughs> but uh, I think we could do a good run here. Um, I did practice my green flag pit stops. It's tough here at Dover, and I'm going to practice one more here in a second. Because you really got to get down there, and uh, part of the way I set up my car is brake bias all the way back. So, really easy to spin it if I'm not careful. So, I think I'm going to want to take the entry like about there. Ooh, that was too hot. <laughs> wow, yeah, so they're gonna give me a black flag there, right? That wasn't a black flag? Does it not show up if I already finished my qualifying? That was worthy of a black flag, I can tell you that. But, uh, looks like we dropped a fourth. Uh, that was a pretty good lap by the number two car. Got my crew chief speaking in my ear. Help me out with uh, the fuel and everything. Yeah, the number two put in a great lap. That was uh, better than my optimal, so I better be hoping. Just like a top five, maybe. I think uh, there's some guys that are better than us out here. Um, I did learn from watching Nick Nieben's video. Uh, two tires seem to be a good call. Helping this thing turn makes sense. It's pretty tight. Um, so I think if I get put into a uh, situation where it might be a good idea to take two, I think I'm going to go for it. Seemed to work out pretty well for him. So, hey, did everyone qualify or was that done already? I guess we're done already. Huh. All right. Let's hope that was enough uh, pit practice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take it even softer during the actual race because obviously you don't want to speed. Much worse to speed than to uh, just get in there a little softer. And uh, we're going to have to be up on the mic, letting people know we're pitting, because you can't exactly wave your hand out the window when we're uh, thousands of miles apart. Okay, quick drink. Starting fourth. Hopefully we got some patient guys behind us. And uh, we can have a good run. 75 laps. Pretty healthy race. We'll need to pit, I imagine. If not for fuel, probably for tires, right? We'll see. Kind of fun that uh, the Legends 
basically guarantee you a little bit of strategy. I like that. Through Get some red, blue, and green to the left of us. I've got my what is it? Uh, Charmin car, <laughs> retro Charmin car, toilet paper. <laughs> Might be about time to go uh, check out trading paints and switch some of my paints up. I like switching them around. Maybe even find like a Halloween type of scheme. That'd be fun. I think I might do that soon. My uh, my truck scheme, the uh, payday candy car. That's kind of already Halloween, right? <laughs> Got the candy mobile. Get on out here. Imagine it's going to be a second gear start, right? Oh, maybe not. Eh, it's pretty close. I might do first gear and then just uh, maybe not floor it, but uh, ease onto it. Got people in front of us anyway. Uh oh, super flow motor oil in the front too. Are they, are they a team? They might be working together. Sometimes when you see matching schemes, I can tip you off that those guys uh, have a game plan. Or maybe on a Discord chat okay, together or something. Or it's a coincidence. They just happen to like similar schemes. Weird start. Kind of slowed down at the start there. It was a bit sketchy. Just kind of gonna let him go. I don't want to tear down the wall on the first lap. Try not to slide up in the middle of the corner kind of like that, because uh, I think that'll be what ruins our tires. So, we're going to try to keep it down, not overdrive it. Oh, this guy's kind of going a little slow for my tastes. Freaking me out a little bit. Maybe that's uh, what I should be doing, is going easy. Yeah, I wanted to get by him. I wasn't quite feeling it. Is that arrow push? Do these cars have arrow push? Or did I just get that tight? I think maybe I was just that tight from entering that low. Or being that low on the track. close up there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. He's going to spin him. Oh my god. They're not going to survive. I don't think they're a team. I think they might not like the fact that they're stealing each other's style. <laughs> oh, is he in the wall? This is a little close. I'm not feeling too comfortable, guys. <laughs> I was ready to move forward, but uh, yikers. Looking like they're having trouble holding a line. Uh, I don't like being side by side with a guy that can't hold a line. So, don't think I'm gonna push that envelope any farther. We'll hang out. Let that 
brake bias turn the car. Hopefully not let the guy behind us turn our car. Ooh, tight on exit. Now, because we had to lift, they're going to come in on our inside. This is scary, guys. We're not going to go caution free with the way this is going. I'm so stuck back here. I feel faster than these guys, but I'm just, I can't get past their two wideness. That was dangerous. I kind of cleared myself there, but I had to. It was so tight, I just kind of had to gun for it. Gun it. Not proud of it, but at least we survived. I appreciate him if he indeed had to uh, lift out for me there. Ooh, wow. That's the first time I felt that. Got loose out of the corner. Now I'm starting to worry we're going to have to do a green flag pit stop at some point. <laughs> really was hoping it wasn't coming to that. Another thing, too, is if it does come to that, I feel like there's no way everyone on this track does it perfectly, because it's so difficult. So we might go along and just expect someone to loop it trying to enter the pits. where I have it. Even if it is going to make my pit entry that much harder. Okay, a little scrape of the wall. Might serve me well to, uh, I think I need to move up a little bit mid-corner. Or, you know, just go through the corner a little bit higher so I can cut down on exit. That might serve me well on the tightness I'm feeling when I'm leaving the corner. He's hitting the wall a lot. Maybe it's a net coat or something, but he's up there doing some scrapes. Remember not to turn the wheel too much. Let the brakes turn it. Oh my god, this lap car is having a real rough time. I think it might be single split, so. Yep, saw that coming. That sucks, man. seen that happen before. Guy that just needs some more practice before he's coming out here with other guys. And uh, when you hit that wall, you just bounce off. So, we're going to fill it full of fuel. Oh, don't touch me. 
According to this, we already have enough fuel to the end, so that's curious. Um, it's too early to do that two tire thing, I think. I'm gonna come in and get two. See if other guys take two. I'm not sure if it was the time to do it. I feel like it's too early. 8891 on the left, so. That's one guy that took two. And we're out in third. I took the leapfrog that one guy. I think it should be nice to be on the inside, or I think anyway. I'm not sure how it'll pan out. But we got it, so. And uh, we're second of guys that took four. We'll see if the uh, number five runs away with his two tires, and then we'll know we should have taken the two. I just felt like I think... Uh, the two should be fine. Plus, I was getting kind of uh, loose out of the corner. What is Sir doing right here? That's the guy that caused the wreck. Let's see, I have no idea what's going on there. But uh, what was I saying? I got distracted by the guy with the front row seat sitting in the front stretch. Um, yeah, we'll see if his two tires pay off for him. Could just be that it makes him faster. We're going on fuel. I took it just to be safe, and then we got two sets of tires. Might have been a little early, but if we come out here and uh, don't take tires, and then it goes green to the end, we're just we're in shambles. So we had to take them. Any quick cautions here, and we're gonna stay out for a while. So, what are the tires? So, 70, 81 on the rights. So, they were pretty well worn. We might want to go a little softer this time. 88, 91 on the lefts. So, I mean, those weren't. That's not nothing either. Oh, that's right. It's not double file. What am I talking about? This is 1987. We don't do double file. Well, okay. That changes things a little bit. I don't know if uh, the first gear start worked last time. I think that was good. I like that little launch we get. Yeah. I'm cool with that. See, I want to save tires, but I don't want to get run over from behind either. And even if you save tires, I think it might be hard to pass later. So it's kind of a tough choice. Because even if you save tires, it's still going to be tough to pass guys that get past you when you're trying to save tires. So, I don't know. Start. Okay. Hey, we got a nice little gap behind us already. I think it's going to be useful to save these tires a little better this time, though. I think maybe that's what the two is thinking, so 
As long as we got that gap. I'm going to be easy on the throttle on exit. And if they pull away a little bit, that's cool. Try to get the brakes to turn the car. That's, that's a tough spot to be in. I don't necessarily want him to get past me. I don't want to rip my tires off either. What do I do? Why can't I have both? Why can't I stay up here and save tires? I think if I go easy on exit, maybe that'll serve me well. So I think I'm going to take entry fairly normally and then just ease on the throttle on exit see if that does well because I'd much rather not push up and hit the wall anyway we'll keep an eye on him behind us Good position. If we, oh, what happened behind us? Where'd he go? What are you doing? Oh my god, another caution. Alright, well, it's obviously too early to get tires. We were good to him anyway, I think. Oh boy. So the two crashed behind us, I think. Unless he got hit. My filt. Sorry. No, it wasn't your fault, Brian. It was number two. He stopped on the track and then turned left as I was coming. Uh oh. How bad did you? A little worse than the twelve getting lapped and smacking the wall and taking me out earlier. Hey, that was Ryan, easy, uh, right. Yeah, that poor three has had a rough race, race already. I kind of just slid out of the way and let you go by. Oh, you're good. My car was already slow from the last wreck. Uh, I just did, I don't, I'm not trying to wreck. I was looking for you no matter what. I saw you out of control. <sighs> Alright, well, we'll knock some laps out here. Uh, Houdini was in front of us. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, if the uh, connection wants to give me a free spot. Space, I have no idea where he is. If he loses connection, then suddenly we're in second, but. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm leaving lots of space. <laughs> Downloading something in the background or something. <laughs> Man, cautions are supposed to be time for a breather. I can't breathe. Chris Angel over here. Yeah, that was intentional, buddy. I don't know what you're thinking there. What's going on with your connection for? <laughs> uh, I hope that sorts itself out before we start going because I can't leave a huge There's gap. There's no wave around uh, 12 if you're waiting for a wave around. This 12 doesn't know what he's doing. Is he the lowest drink guy in here? Yeah, he's probably his first race ever or something. I don't even know if this thing split, so he's got no clue, which is really scary. This isn't a great car to be learning with. Because it can be a handful. So 
So this 12 is going to be in the way. 4 is doing whatever that is. Excuse me. And I'm scared. I think I'm going second gear for this start. No, I think if I'm easy on the throttle, I might be better. Yeah, I think I do still want first. I just can't slam it. Where's Floor going? Is he going to the pits? Yeah, wow. If he's petting because of his connection, that's a very selfless move. Really appreciate that. That's very cool of him to recognize that he was a danger. So we're doing first gear. Well, we're in second now. It'll be up to me to get a nice jump from behind this guy. I recognize his name. I know he's pretty good in these cars, so we'll have a we'll have our uh, what am I trying to say? Having a good challenge in front of us trying to get by him, keep up with him. Start. Compared to the guys behind us, I'm not hit the wall. Are you serious? How do you even wreck that quickly? What? Ah, uh. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Signed up to race, not pace. Well, believe it or not, we're still not taking tires, but we sure are taking a nap while we wait for the <sighs> caution to be over. I'm not burning my tires off during pacing. I refuse. Imagine this is single split. I know not very many people signed up, so it has to be. No idea what happened there. Man, I loved that start we had too. I guess we'll just have to do it again. No way on planet Earth am I pitting. He's not either. That's right, he's on two tires. So we might have an advantage. I felt like we had enough track position. We didn't need to try to do the two tire thing. So he's down there cooling his tires, I guess. I can't, he's like in my blind spot. Honestly, I'm going to give him extra room, because <laughs> I don't know if I can even trust him to drive by me on the outside. You just, you can't be too careful. It's kind of like defensive driving out on the real road. Just got to assume the worst at all times. So our tires aren't going to be any different. We'll do that same kind of start we had before. I think that worked out very well for us. Um, we're the best car in terms of tire wear uh, in the field. Assuming that the two tires isn't going to actively help him, which there, I don't see how that would be possible. Should be two to green coming up now. I 
things. Okay. Oh, and I sure hope we don't get a caution before we even get to the start finish line this time. What would be really cool is if they implemented implemented the uh, race back to the line yellow flag rule like back in the day. We've all talked about wanting that before. Um, there'd be pros and cons, obviously. Pros is, you know, it's historically accurate. It's something unique that would set the series apart. Um, I think it'd be, it could lead to some fun situations. You race back to the line. Uh, cons, there's a nice handful of those as well. You're gonna get uh, serious Arca breaking. Enough to where they might start calling it calling it 87 breaking, because uh, field isn't frozen when there's a caution, so you're gonna get guys flooring it through the wrecks. The reason that uh, they didn't keep doing it in real life too dangerous. Um, other cons are um, i racing itself. I think this is why they don't do it. They would have to code this new specific thing for this series and that would take development time away from other things and I'm sure that would bring some bugs along with it too and so maybe it wouldn't be the best use of their time I think that's why it hasn't been done or might not be done at any point but, uh, I don't know it could be interesting you'd see some track blockers like never before I'm sure even compared to like Arca, probably right about the same. But uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Might help this uh, series get some more participation because it doesn't have the grade sometime, sometimes, unfortunately. Hence this single split. But uh, time to focus up. Doing another restart. That might have been even better than last time. He still gets a little bit ahead of us, but that's cool. We're going to keep being nice to the tires. Ooh, is he in the wall, or is that just uh, prediction code? I don't know. Keep it low and keep the throttle partial. this thing goes green to the end. It's getting out there though. Maybe we gotta try to keep up or car behind is catching the gaps now, I hope this works. I hope I'm saving tires well. straight as possible. Use the brake pedal to turn. Coming up on here. Yeah, that guy's coming up on, on us from behind. We got a huge gap back to fourth. That's good. Mm, that was tight there, even though I was easy on the throttle. It makes me wonder if I'm saving as much as I think I am. Hmm. Maybe I should just focus on uh, hitting my marks. Not overthinking it. I feel like I do that sometimes. Maybe a little bit of the apron there, help to turn. Cut 
filtering higher than we are, I think. So maybe we'll try to do a little bit more of that. higher. I think maybe we should do some of that too. Let's get the uh, last lap up if we can. So I can compare how my laps are looking. Session last lap. There we go. See uh, where we might be losing time and Yeah, I think it's much better to get that uh, cut down. So let's try to focus on getting that done. I don't think I'm hitting the brakes hard enough. that we need. Alright. Let's just uh, cons consistently take the corners like this and see where that takes us. I think we'll be in better shape at the end of this than he will be. Unless I spin. <laughs> oh my god. So I got a little lower than I wanted to be, and uh, that meant I had to turn the wheel more. That's where that came from. Not ideal. See all that time we just... Uh, gained on the last lap because of that Seven, loose moment. And that carries all the way through the first corner. He's pulling away though. Wow. Thanks. <sighs> Is he going to do it to me now? 12, I think you need to get some more practice before you come out here with other guys. I'm going to say it. Yeah. Because it needs to be said. Don't want to be rude, but uh, it's pretty rude of him to come out here and start uh, messing with other people's races. So, I mean, I'm not going to tell him to go away. Forever, like most people, guys, most well, guys will, you know, to get some more practice before you come out here. I'm sure he would rather be competitive. I'm sure, he would rather be running competitively instead of laps down doing that. So that's that's how I feel. I don't think the guys should be coming out here doing that. He's just pulling away. I think maybe the two-tire strat was the way to go. It almost seems like it just makes you faster. Loosens the car up. Hey, maybe those uh, left sides will blow. No way. There's no way that's going to happen. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. It's always the right sides. Loose out of the corner, but we got it managed. start taking that high-ish line. Get that run off. I might try something here. You've just done a 27.2. I'm gonna try something because I'm not catching them. Nah, that didn't work. I tried like to dive in low and then come in. Not quite. The gap behind is now 1.4. Let's 
Let's try some things. Gotta keep doing what I was doing. Like he's just, he's got uh, his marks. He's hit his marks. It's perfect. He's doing a better job. Because he didn't take those left sides, I guess. Uh, Come on, let me park on another track like old Mike did. Alright, don't be mean. <laughs> um. I think, uh, you know, his left sides, because they're worn from the first run, they're uh, more worn than the right still, and I think that's making him turn better. I think that might be where it is. Or he's just better. It could always just be that he's better, but uh, if it's not that simple, I think that might be why the uh, two-tire stop is the way to be. But, uh, yeah, second pretty well held down for now. If that's where we end up, I'm perfectly happy. Yeah, let's check and fuel. Just in case I missed something. There's no way we were going to run out though. We probably got twice as much as we actually need. So we tried a thing or two. See if we could uh, start catching them, but not quite. I'm just gonna have to run my laps at this point. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. I'm just gotta take that long line. It looks like the fast way around. Ooh, I really turned in there. <laughs> I think it maybe entered a little too hard. He's still gapping. thing in this series is if we do get cautions near the end, there's no green-white checkered in 1987, so the race will end under caution immediately. And uh, I'm not racing back to the line, as previously discussed. <laughs> focus. I should uh, go ahead and get it back. So this isn't over yet. Ooh, really pushing. Next time, take two tires. <laughs> Even if it's early, just seems like that's straight up faster. Like my tires down? What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I did not see that coming. Got a pit here, my tires down. Sorry for the language. That was bad. That could have been worse. Oh, now I sped too. Did I? I think I did. Oh, maybe not. Well, that stinks. I did not know that was happening. Oh, man, that's rotten. 
Suddenly having a bad day. Well, we're getting those right sides, I guess. <laughs> that stinks. Zero, look at that. No idea I was doing that to my tires. That is awful. Well, I learned a lesson today. Tires wear fast to Dover. I didn't even feel that bad. So, now we hope that we're not the only ones to get a tire down. Wow. Did not see that coming. Seven eighty on the left. Dang. The gap behind has now decreased to fourteen seconds. Okay, Colton, we're in the little dog position right now. Right in front is pit. No more pits. Didn't expect that. Well, that flipped our finish over, potentially. I'm glad that somehow that tap of the wall I did didn't get any damage at all. And uh, we were able to keep it straight. That was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> that could have been really bad. But uh, man, that thing was hard to control with that tire down. That right front. That's crazy. So now we're still back in fifth. Could the leader still blow a tire? I mean, he went as long as we did. I have no idea how this is going to shake out now. I thought maybe I was just driving it way too hard, harder than everyone else. But uh, we got more people coming in. Hmm. Well, we're still gonna get a top five. It's not much in a field of, I think it was 11. Was it 11? I don't know, 12. Yeah, that, crush, that guy's number 12. He was the highest number, so. Wow, still a top five. Did not see that uh, happening, though. So I'm a little late, so I just went ahead and let him go on by. He's got nice, uh, fresher tires. We also took right sides only. Some guys might have gone and uh, took all four because their tires going down. It might be something that happened. Okay, Colton, you're really Davis. So here's the thing: even if these guys uh, finish it off, if they get that meatball flag and they finish, then uh, they're forced to be in the final spot of the lap they're on. So if we are the first guy on the lead lap. Without a, uh, I know we're still a lap down, aren't we? Uh, uh, uh. Curious. This is this is getting weird. <laughs> Let me just say that. Fourth, he's pitting. He had to pit. With uh, 20 second stops or so. He quit to uh, catch some guys. White flag. Wow, so strange how this turned out. So we get to do one less <laughs> one less lap, I guess. Don't 
don't think we're passing any more people unless they get that black flag. And uh, I see not a reason to pass this dude. Unless he just gives us the entire bottom. Well, that was strange. Are we uh, fourth? Is that where we got? Huh. All right, fourth. Yeah, I thought we were doomed after uh, all that happened. Good win, five. Huh. So three guys finished without their tires going down, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I hit zero and it told me to come in. I uh, it's my first race this week, so I just uh, that was a bummer to see. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, this track keeps up tires. I'm trying to figure out how to transfer some wear to my right rear, and I didn't do a very good job because it's still like 60%. <laughs> Yeah, I saw you took two tires on that uh, first stop, right? Yeah, you always take two tires in these cars on shorter tracks. Huh. Yeah, I was going to say, it seemed like it worked out for you, so I'll add that to my memory banks. <laughs> Again, good win, man. It was a nice race. I was going to get four for the eight minutes of damage, but my engine blew too, yeah. Yeah, you got dealt a bad hand, three. I was sorry to see it. Hmm. I mean, the first guy just hit the wall, whatever. This dude intentionally spun his car out in front of everybody after he got hit. And Dang, that, that sucks. Up. Huh. Well, we'll take a look at it. Let's see uh, what he's talking about. So, 11 in the wall in the first lap. Nine in the wall on the first lap. Just barely. 12, having a hard time. We'll be seeing you, Mike. Well, that's, I didn't see that full scheme. Atari Space Invaders, that's fun. Scratching it up, though. Tiny bit of wall, probably not even actually in the wall. Pretend well, that's some real wall, real wall action. 12. Wall revisited. Tiny bit on entry, that's nothing though. Nothing. We're gonna see some of those big hits here before too long. Car gets a little bit unsettled, so guys might uh, weeble wobble into the wall a little bit. Kind of just scraped it there on the straightaway. Um, Twelve car gradually making his way to the back. He's eventually gonna take out the three. That was nothing. Is this it? Yep. He's wrong place, wrong time. That sucks, man. 12's obviously not trying to do it, but if you can't make a lap without hitting the wall, then you need more practice before you come out here and ruin someone's race. Three's rightfully angry. But I think it doesn't take someone out. And then 12 just stops on the track. I don't know what he's doing at this point. I don't know. Might be drunk or something. Ten's probably doing something under caution, not paying attention too close. Twelve 
That's a real hit. Nine takes out the two. Oh, no. Okay, so this is the one where he says he did it on purpose. However, I don't know if that's true. And here's why. So, the nine takes him out. It's nine's fault. So he's on a very steep bank banking right here. And these cards get really weird when they're on steep banking. I think it's because they're so high off the ground. You see, he's kind of trying to get it going, trying to get it straight. And he's in a weird spot right now where he's drifting down the track. And he's probably having a hard time making it not do that. Because he doesn't want to slide down in front of everyone. So when you're in this position, I don't know if there's much you can do to prevent your car from sliding down the track when you're at zero miles an hour and you're on such steep banking. So he tries his best to pull it to the right so he doesn't slide in front, but then he's heading towards the wall and so he tries to correct it and he's just having such a hard time because these cars are so weird on the banking. So eventually he just accidentally ends up down here and at this point all he can think to do is slam on the brakes and lock it up and hope that people can go around him but these guys are coming too fast so they can't get it done so I don't think that was on purpose I think he was trying not to make it happen and just couldn't do it but I can see why it looks really bad to the three I think that's just unfortunate circumstances I don't think he's doing that on purpose man that's tough though very very strange case but uh, take some out and uh, Suddenly, we don't have to worry about the three car anymore. Twelve has to dodge it and takes himself out. Ooh, that's a hard hit too. That makes him even slower for the rest of the race. Blinkies, it's nothing. Threes, quite angry. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can defend this one. Two's obviously got to be a good driver. He's the second highest rated guy in here. Here he's trying to take advantage of the fact that this guy's not up at the wall. And that maybe he knows the seven is going to be in second gear. But that's just so aggressive. I don't think it's necessary. So, he kind of just drives down. That's just really aggressive for no reason. I can't defend him on that one. I still don't think it was on purpose. I think he's just having a bad race. He's making some bad decisions. Seven's angry. Is he going to retaliate? Yep. We had some anger. I don't know why seeing that. A couple of rainbow looking cars. What is that on the back of this car? Wow. Looks pretty cool. Like the little chrome kind of like highlights. It's kind of neat. Leader. Tapping the wall just a little bit. But we still were never going to catch him, especially if we were about to pop our dang tire. Which you never knew about. I don't know what the 12 is doing. I mean, he's just, he's not, he doesn't know how to drive. It's pretty much that simple. He just goes in too low, I assume. He's trying to get out of the way in his own special way. But uh, it's the embankment, so he's going to be coming into the corner at a terrible angle. So he sends a 5 up into the wall. Thankfully, he didn't ruin his race. But uh, 12 just can't keep it where he should be keeping it. And anyway, if you're that slow, First of all, I don't know if you should be on the track. Second of all, probably want to get to the high side or something. Maybe stay on the apron? I don't know. 
There's gotta be something better than what he's doing. Third place car, he's trying to catch me. Not gonna matter in the end, after my tire bursts, but uh, don't know why we're seeing it. Seeing that. Man, a lot happened out here today. A lot of nothing, too. This is either gonna be a hit on entry or nothing. Hit on entry. Don't think that's gonna be anything. Second car in seventh. Here's me popping my tire. I bet that's what that is. Or it's getting close at least. Yeah, I think it might have killed me trying to do that uh, higher line. Trying to find speed. What you doing, 12? This looked like he was wrecking for a whole straightaway. So he's trying to go high. I mean, he's trying to be a good lap car. But he just hits the wall and loses control. He's staying on the gas instead of lifting off, and that's what makes him come and ping pong off all the walls. And he's got to know when to pull it in and say, you know, I don't have it today. He's just going to drive in the grass. That's going to get him loose, and I don't know what's happening, man. Dude trying to catch up with Space Invaders. He's still in fifth, this two car, even after all that's gone on. Is that. Did I see what I think I saw? <laughs> well, 12 just parked it. He's got to be drunk, right? Like, no rational person just stops on the track like that. I don't know. Anyway, at least he's off the track. He decided to pull it in, like I suggested. Should probably just enter the pits like a normal person, but, you know, he, he got there. Assume this is probably the 9 about to pop his tires. I think he probably popped his tire too in the end, right? Yeah, he finished. Oh, did he wreck? He might have wrecked. No idea. But we've got some more uh, stuff to see, apparently. 9. What's going on? Now, if we got a caution in the end and we had enough laps, we would have been able to get those tires. I would have been a fool, I bet, and took... Nah. Nah, I would have taken right sides. Yeah. And then we wouldn't have popped, but... Even if it didn't serve us well, you would prefer to have a green run. Let it work out the way it should. So the other time, maybe, was the tire... Breaking. But, uh... Or, you know, getting worse. Almost popping, but maybe this is where it actually dies. I think this is it, yeah. It's looking like it's not working anymore. Maybe not. That's soon, though. My car's feeling pain at this point. I wish it could have told me. Hey, you're at like 2% or something. Is that 12? <laughs> That's a 12 back on the track? Why did you come back out? What's the point? You're not going to pass him? That guy didn't even show up. Oh, they're related. Probably. Huh. Well, the other guy didn't show up. But uh, what's the point, man? You're not going to pass anyone. What are you... What are you doing? <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> Just getting in the way. Uh, 11 sends it in a little hard. It looked like they were about to go side by side. He was in the... Oh, that was like the same wall. 11 struggling. The other Colton in the race. Got a nice retro scheme. I bet his tire's getting real bad. Is this me? Was that me? That was me. So it didn't even register in the incidents, but uh, it deserved to. I hope I didn't mess anyone up too bad with my garbage. So I just go slow here, let them go. And uh, what happens is tire's broken, so first of all, it's hard to control, and then I get on the brakes, and uh, it pulls me to the left because my brake bias is so far back, and thank goodness there's no one immediately behind me, because I could have been just the biggest fool of the race. And come up and cause a huge wreck. 
but thankfully that's not what happened. I managed my uh, tire. I just, oops, not fast. There's a tiny little tap, and uh, <laughs> I figured it out. I'm glad it didn't go worse. I can't believe I still got top five. Almost sped, so I was having serious trouble there, but we figured it out. It's too many box now. Oh, it's because of the replay, I guess. Uh, six was hard on the wall there. And I know we had some more people with the uh, right front tire down. Well, the leader almost got it too. He had uh, that four percent. It was very close. Could have gained another spot or two if one of those guys ran out, but this guy ended up being fine. He got beat by the Space Invaders. It's not the first time that's happened. I'm bad at that game. That red, blue, and green car. And uh, here we're just seeing a bunch of cars because uh, they're getting torn apart by their super duper dead tires. Kind of disappointed that we were beat by the two car after all the nonsense he went through, but he just beat us because his tire didn't expire. Leader coming around. Tire almost broken. So, three. Oh, his engine blew. How about that? So he had the front end damage and it made his engine blow. So that stinks for him, man. Kind of stayed on the track. Was that on purpose? Was he trying to wreck people? Because he's like, oh, that other guy did it. Oh, it's because that's the guy that he felt spun on purpose. So he's thinking, man, if I can tap him, I'll do it. That's not very cool. Thankfully, he didn't do it. So that would have been a lame way to end the race. in the wall, but uh, he's going to cruise on to the victory. Four popped the tire. Yep, that's uh, what got us one of the spots at the end. You can tell, because it's just straight up not turning anymore. There's Warren tire, and then there's no tire. You can tell by how slow he has to go that that thing's gone, so he's going to be pitting right here. Oh, if unless he can't. Did I go under him while he was trying to pit? Oops. Well, he wasn't really in a position to pit anyway if he was planning on pitting. He might also not have known that uh, you straight up have to pit if you got that meatball flag. Not sure what the case was there, but uh, hey, that's the end of the race, sir. The end of uh, what we're able to see. So we still got ourselves a top five. We got fourth right, right where we started, even after all that craziness with tires. So that was a weird one. That was a real weird one, but uh, I guess I'm happy with that. Could have finished better. I usually I had a second place wrapped up if my tire doesn't expire, but top five still good. So I'll take it. See you next time.